Headphones are probably the most underutilized tool in the arsenal that we engineers have. Have all of your effects set and ready to go. I like to make sure that I listen to early takes of the singer, listen to their timing. If the timing is a bit erratic, I'm gonna kick the drums up in their headphone mix. If they're struggling with pitch, I might pull the drums back a little bit and turn some of the harmonic elements up. Like if it's a big piano part, I might take everything down but that piano and the drums. Now, she, now the singer still hear it in their headphones, but I'm emphasizing in her headphones the things I want her to do better or him to do better. And, and that can be any number of things. You can use your own imagination. Sometimes uh, a little reverb will make a singer sing sharp or flat. So if you're having a pitch problem, increase the reverb, decrease the reverb. Uh, older singers tend to sing a little sharp as they get older. Younger singers tend to sing flat. And you can kind of counteract that with a little bit of reverb. Um, another technique I like to do, uh, well, first of all, make sure the headphones are perfect when they walk in. That, they can, the singer's just going to subconsciously think you're a great engineer when you didn't have to do anything. They're just perfect. I had a number one record with Brian McKnight, and he, he didn't warm up, walked in, sang the song, it went to tape, out the door, number one in, in a month. That's what you want to be able to do. Always take notes. Always take notes about where you place the mic, what mic you use, the level of any, any gear. That way, the next time that singer comes in, you're ready to go. This is a technique that I'm pretty sure other people do. Um, I, 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 I like using this and I use it a lot. I'm kind of scared to tell you guys. So if you know any singers that know me, don't, don't tell them this. What I'll do is you can kind of get a feel, particularly from the rough mix of how the singer, how comfortable they are in a studio. So I'll have the level of their headphone mix a little lower than it should be while we're warming up, particularly a lot lower while we're um while we're actually doing takes and when i think i'm getting close to a good take i'll kick the headphone level up 3 db it juices their headphones they're comfortable they love me the headphones are blaring the lights are right the t is perfect man i got the greatest performance in the world so uh the point isn't that i'm clever but the point is Train yourself to think about things that are unique to each singer you work with that are going to enhance their experience and make them sing better. That's what you're sitting in the chair for. That's what you're paid to do. And those are some things I do. The one thing that I see a lot of engineers do that just really bothers me is they'll wear a singer out testing a microphone. Uh, if you've got the budget and you've got some friends, um, let's say you're recording a female singer and you've got a friend that sounds kind of like her, tell the friend you'll, you'll record some vocals for her free if she'll come sing for you. Now you've got a, a, a free guinea pig to, to set microphones, to set levels, to set EQs. You set a lot of things. She walks home with a free performance and you're ready to go when, you're, when your big star singer comes in. So think about these things and create your own techniques. I'd appreciate if you share them with me too. All right.